Hi, my name is Debbie Drennan. I'm with Parents Helping Parents iTech Center, and I'm going to be showing you today in this video some very helpful features of an iPad that you can use when you're going to be allowing your child to use an iPad, um, but you want to do it in a very controlled way for them. So there's some really helpful built-in features of iOS 13, which is what I'm using on this iPad that I wanted to make sure you're aware of that you can start using with your child. So the first thing I want to show you is something called Guided Access. Guided Access is a great tool that you can use that really kind of locks your child into your app of choice for a set time that you can choose, and it also grays out some areas of the, iP of the app that you maybe don't want them in or touching to get them out of the app. So let me show you where that is. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to touch the Settings button, and I'm going to go down on the left side I'm going to scroll down till I see accessibility and I'm going to touch the accessibility button and then on the right side you're going to see now I have all the different accessibility features available on an iPad. These are really nice to play in and I recommend that if you have a child maybe who has some visual issues you're working with or maybe physical disability or some hearing issues, you play around in these. This is also where you're going to find switch access and switch controls for your iPad. Um, and if you need more information about those things, you can either contact me here at Parents Helping Parents in the iTech Center or go online at the Apple Support um, website and ask about switch control. And there'll be, there's lots of helpful information about how to access those things. But I wanted to show you first guided access. So it's in general on the accessibility panel, I'm going to touch guided access. It defaults to being off. Go ahead and turn it on and set a passcode for it. I've already done all of those things, so I'm not going to redo it. This is also where you can decide if you're going to do a time limit in your um, guided using guided access, what sounds or what speaking terms you want it to have before the time ends to alert them the time is ending. And I also recommend that you make it an accessibility shortcut which means when you triple click the home button, it'll come up as a feature that you can access right there without having to come back to the setting guided access. All right, so let me show you how that looks when you're in an app. So I'm gonna go to an app, let's see. I'm gonna go to an app called iFireworks Lite. This is a nice little app to play in. new fireworks. So basically what happens when the child touches the screen with one finger, two fingers, they get an immediate response, an immediate firework. It's bright, it's colorful, it's loud. It's a great way to get a child to interact with the iPad. All right, but you don't want them coming out of that and you don't want them Xing out of it. So I'm going to triple click the home button, one, two, three, and I can see guided access. I'm going to click on guided access. And now it has started. Um, generally, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to put in the passcode that only I know. My child doesn't know this passcode. And it's canceled. So when you go into guided access, you're going to see these different features available to you. So I'm going to touch options. And here's where I can decide what guided access is doing for me. I can make it so that they cannot touch the sleep awake button, which is the top right hand button, the volume buttons to make it louder or quieter, that they can um, use motion, shake it, they can use keyboards if they want, that you, they can touch it if you want them to be able to touch it. This is where I can also set a time limit for within the app, which I'm not going to do right now because I want to make sure I get to show you all the features of it. All right, so these are the options available to you. I'm going to go ahead and resume and guided access has started, and I'm going to play it. Now I'm going to touch the home button to try to get out of it because I'm a kid and I don't want to play this anymore. I can't. I can't get out of it. See? And it, just, it tells me guided access is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and triple click it. One, two, three. Touch guided access. Put in my code, which my child does not know, and I'm going to end. And now it has ended. And now I can touch the home button and I'm done. And that's guided access and all the features of it. It's really a helpful tool for families to be aware of. Another really important thing you need to do when you first get your um, iPad is to go into settings and make it so that you are controlling 
if your child is allowed to install apps, delete apps, or per make in-app purchases. Otherwise, you're gonna spend a fortune on in-app purchases and apps that you don't necessarily want. So go to screen time. On the left-hand side in settings, go to screen time. In screen time, you're gonna see a lot of things that you can do. You can set a downtime here. In downtime, enter your passcode and you can set a downtime to schedule that only during this particular time, during downtime, only apps that I choose and allow will be available, which is nice to have, okay? You can set time limits for apps right here, if that's important to you. But what I'm gonna show you is in content and privacy restrictions, so I'm gonna to touch on that. This is where you're gonna really be able to lock things down for your child. So I'm gonna show you first thing, iTunes and App Store purchases. Here's where you can change it so the child can't get in and play with things. So do you want them to install apps? Maybe not. So you hit don't allow. Do you want them to delete an app? Maybe not. Deleting apps? Don't allow, right? Do you want them making in-app purchases? Oh no, because you're gonna spend a fortune. So now they can't do any of those things. So let me show you what that looks like. Generally, if you're gonna delete an app, you touch the app, here's an app, and it wiggles, and you get the, do you want, you know, you get some options, do you wanna delete it? So I'm touching this app, it's not wiggling. I can't delete it, it's not even allowing me to get to that point where I can even see that screen. So that's not something you now have to worry about as a parent, which is really a very helpful thing. Okay, so this is where I, you would also go, I'm gonna show you, go back into settings. And I'm also gonna show you, this is where you're going to be able to set up screen time for the entire family. So across all devices, you can have things accessible or not accessible. And you can also set up in content and privacy restrictions. You can decide if they're gonna, you're gonna allow them to change passcodes, accounts, photos, you're gonna get into photos, locations, content restrictions, Put in your passcode again. This is where you're gonna set ratings. Um, so you can really make it clean and G-rated. So if movies, you only want G or PG, you can set that. Um, you want it clean, keep it clean. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that to allow all and um, allow all apps because this is my work iPad. But that's where you can really kind of lock it down to what's comfortable for you and your child. All right, the final thing I wanna tell you about, I'm not gonna show you, because if I show you I'm gonna lose my screen recording, is something in your clock app. So now you've locked down your iPad, you're ready for your child to play on it, you're comfortable with the apps that are on there, they can't go in and delete things, they can't go in and buy things. But So you wanna just give it to them for 10, 15 minutes you know, after dinner while you do the dishes, and you want to know that after, at that point it's gonna be done with it, and you don't want any arguments about not being done with the app. So you go to clock. And in the clock app, you have lots of features. You've got a world clock, you've got the alarm feature, you've got a bedtime feature you can set up, you've got a stopwatch feature, and you have a timer feature. Go to the timer feature. And here's where you can just set a timer, right? And here's where, instead of having it make a tone, like a twinkle sound, Now, I'm not going to do it because if I do that, I'm going to come out of screen recording. But what you do is you then set it, and then you start it. And then at the end of the time that you decided, the whole thing goes to the home screen. And that's it. And then, of course, they need a passcode to get back onto the iPad, which, of course, you haven't given to them. So those are some really helpful features for you to, when you're giving an iPad to a young child that you should know about and be able to access. If you have any questions about any of these, contact me here at Parents Helping Parents. I'm Debbie Drennan. Happy to go over anything with you. Um, there's also multiple other things you can do with the iPad, um, and I'm happy to talk about those as well.